Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Looking at natural gas on the daily weekly time frame, and we're going to stick with NGZ 2016. So let's start with the hourly chart. We had that bear flag play out leading to a dump further downside. Now we had another little baby bear flag leading to a dump and further downside. Small short-term bounce leading to a dump and further downside. So the pattern here is we are not breaking any of the lower high pattern once we broke down from that clear bear flag. So let's look at it on the four hour chart, a little bit more condensed. And very clearly we have not seen a solid bullish reversal candlestick. This was the best bounce attempt we had, but it ended up very clearly being a bear flag leading to further downside. So the bears are absolutely in control of this chart. And we are just now at oversold on the daily. So after all of that dump, because we had broken out so strongly to the upside two weeks leading into the dump that is why the rsi took so long to get oversold on the daily time frame and we have made a major setback looking at the weekly time frame dumping through breaking the higher low pattern so we do still have a key support down here at 276 and if that were to break all bets are off for natural gas the bears would be looking back down at the lows which are what 15 16 year lows so 276 is very important but due to the daily chart now being oversold, along with all these shorter term time frames, these shorter term time frames were allowed to cool off each time. Let's look at this hourly chart. So we got oversold and the bear flag played out and the RSI got all the way up over 60 on that bear flag before dumping down to oversold. The other bear flag allowed it to cool off, dumping oversold, cooling off. So because it's such short time frames, the RSI does cool off before seeing another leg to the downside. Whereas for the daily time frame, it's going to have to see multiple days cooling off to get that RSI back from oversold. So let's look back. We have seen the RSI on the daily time frame down hit 20 before. So this does not mean we're going to bounce soon. We have to see a solid bullish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame. And we've hit 20 on the RSI on the daily three times in the past two years. So we'll see where we are headed. This MACD here, this is what I would call an unsustainable move to the downside. The blue line is too far separated from the orange, and they're going to have to tighten together. So there was a little bit of dip buying today, not significant, certainly not a bullish reversal candlestick. We're going to have to see a very clear bullish reversal candlestick tomorrow, and ideally a break of 295. We need a low to be established. We need a higher high, and then we need higher lows. We have not seen any higher lows established as we keep seeing breaks to the downside. So the bulls are getting pretty desperate here. And tomorrow is going to be a big day. If we see further downside tomorrow, well, then we'll see the trend continue because that's very clearly the trend. Let's look at volume increase in bear volume today. It's hiding behind that candlestick, but it was an increase and the bull volume was decreasing as well. So that showed bearish strength as well there. And see this the move to the upside. The strength was when the volume was increasing for the bulls. And then the weakness started to show up significantly when the bear volume started ramping to the upside, decreasing bull volume. So there's all kinds of information in this volume over the past two weeks. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. We'll be back after hours to check up on it. The inventory report this week is going to be very key. And if we were to see a red day tomorrow, we would certainly be looking for a bullish reaction to the inventory report as you have to figure a lot of any bearish anticipation would already be priced in at that point. So we'll see you tomorrow. I appreciate you watching. Have a great night.